Welcome to Can Angels Fly? I'm Nancy, and I have a gift for you. You who? You. <laughs> you use. Yesterday I made a video and I didn't do a good job at it, so I'm going to try it again. But I do have a gift for you. First things first, you are absolutely correct. You always have been. Not only are you, the current youths, absolutely correct, but so were previous generations of youths. And what were you correct about? You were correct that life does handle itself. I know that sounds a bit confusion, confusing. Like I said, I got a gift for you. Nowadays, things are getting out of hand. Violence, fear, aggression, abuse, anger, um, you name it. Theft, lying, um, you name it. You got some more? I'll wait. Mm -hmm. I do have a gift for you. It's gotten out of hand. And we, we who, me, you, and every individual in humanity are on a rapid descent into hell. And the reason this is happening is because we have been removed from our understanding about how to live in this world Whoever our creator is, gave us a set of rules. And yes, those rules still um, make this earth run. And it runs with perfection, precision. You are absolutely right. Life handles itself. But you come into this world, as did previous generations, and you can't understand life. You can't understand. Because you have a natural knowing that life handles itself. But everyone's telling you, you gotta go to school, you gotta go to work, et cetera, et cetera, in order to attain a level of wealth. You're being bamboozled. Previous generations were bamboozled. And it's not that they were completely lying to you or incorrect and in saying that you must be educated. But they were misleading uh, from the position or... Mm, They were misleading from their motives, their motives. I'll make it make sense. This video is to help make life make sense, especially for the younger generation, because you guys and girls are 100% correct. Life handles itself. I need to go back in time if you ride the wave with me. Hundreds and hundreds of years ago, I do believe that humanity was still basically functioning uh, underneath the law set forth by our, our creator, whoever that may be. And our creator gave us these laws after he or she placed us in this self-contained ecosystem, this world. This world was created intricately to make sure that you have all that you need during your season here. 
water, food, materials for shelter, companionship, etc., etc., etc. The basic needs of a being. But sometimes later, some hundreds of years ago, there were some people that came into existence that knew the importance of God's laws and all his rules. And what they did is they set a plan up. And that plan was to erase, eliminate humanity's consciousness about these rules and laws. And in return, taught or re-educated humanity from generation to generation with the rules and guidelines that they themselves, man, had created. Let's fast forward back to now. Now. Now, we have all of these bewitching, intricate um, details in our current structure. What do I mean by intricate details in our current structure? I'm talking about everything that satisfies your fab senses. You can turn up. You can partake in anything you want. Hmm. And nobody can tell you no. Not only are you capable of partaking in anything that you want, and no one can tell you no, you can't even get to a place of self-control because our system, media, government, politics, business, is all set up to make sure that your senses stay fully engaged, highly active. You want more. Now remember, God already provided all your basic needs. You naturally, instinctively know this. But then you come into this world that permits you to do any, everything you want. Hmm. But the catch is you have to go to school or you have to go to work or you have to figure out another way to get what you want. Whether it's selling drugs or doing whatever long as you fit into the system and work as a part of the system, you can be rewarded. So, you're being manipulated, bamboozled, into partaking in things that you know, you know, aren't good for you, nor good for the world. And so, the frustration arises when you know very well, you shouldn't have to go sit in school for eight hours or go sit at somebody's uh, establishment and work for them for eight hours to make them rich or to fulfill their agenda. No, you know instinctively that our creator has provided all that you need and all you have to do is go partake in what you need to partake in. So a frustration it has developed over generations, generation after generation. This truth has been hidden by those special men and women. And your anger stems from two things, I do believe. Your elders were not successful in maintaining these rules and protecting them and handing them down and making sure that you were birthed into a realm in which you could live under natural law and order. 
where you're not continuously enticed. But instead, your elders failed somewhere along the way, including myself. And those rules, those basic natural rules were removed, wiped away from man's consciousness and replaced by a whole nother set of rules created by man. So you know they corrupt. And everything that they've created tantalizes and titillates your five senses and beckons you to engage in them endlessly. And the sadness and the depression comes because either I got to do it their way, their who, those that special group that created this corrupt system. I have to do it their way. That don't even seem right. Creating confusion. And then you go and try to ask your elders what's happening. What, what is this? Why do I feel this way? They don't have an answer. And the reason why they don't have an answer is because they too were confused. They too were bamboozled. And so they say, they just go with it. Just Follow the instructions, follow the tried and true, but you know naturally it doesn't work for you. You, you can feel it, but yet you're being titillized by all of this glitz and glamour offered by our current system and structure. It's like God gave you two feet. But commercialism gave you Jordans, you know? Uh, God gave you two eyes, but commercialism gave you um, Cartier's, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, God gave you a body, but commercialism says you can get alterations. So it's all of these tantalizing things that are bewitching you. And when you are bewitched through your five senses, you will do anything to quench your thirst, to satisfy that thirst. But many young folks are still rebelling against the system by not going to school or to work. So, the natural things, the basic things God has already provided, it's difficult for you to get them. We're not talking about the Cartier's or the Jordan stuff. That's a whole nother realm. That's when we start descending down into hell. We've gone down into the hell. The icy cold part of hell. But we're talking about the natural resources. You need water to stay alive. You need food to stay alive. You need shelter. Those basic needs. You can't even get anymore. No one can. Without um, bowing down to the current system or structure. If you don't do what they ask you to do, then it's difficult for you to obtain a home or to buy water or to buy food, et cetera, et cetera. And so, you know that these are things that you're naturally supposed to get, but you are having difficulty obtaining them. And even if you are capable of obtaining them, you still have a lingering eye because you still want the glitz and glamour. But it's a trick. It's a trick. And that trick right there, it was leading to confusion, sadness, depression, anger, etc., etc. It is descending us all down into hell because y'all not the only ones up under the, the magic of this current social structure. Overall, the, the existence as well as the 
need for both, both what? The basic and, and a little blitz of glamour, the urge, the want, the wants, the needs. And having the inability to attain them with ease is psychological warfare. And that psychological warfare has an outcome. And it is the emotional and spiritual depletion or devastation of all people involved, descending us slowly into the um, rapidly into the uh, into hell. We have been falling or descending into hell generation after generation. As I said at the beginning of this video, every generation, the youngsters of every generation had this natural knowing that God provides all things but based on the current of the current circumstances or the circumstances of that time were manipulated into obliging or obeying the system that was being set up and developed um, against them, us, and people of the future. Like I said, if we go back a little further, people, Native Americans, those kind of, of, of people, indigenous people, people untouched, lived one with nature. And they were under God's laws and, and orders and, and followed them. Then, at some point in time, they were overtaken and that information was lost. That was a failure on your elders to maintain the integrity of God's laws and hand them down so that I would know and you. I face the same thing you're facing now. I do. I did. You know, my kids face it now and their friends face it now. The fear exists of your very, for your very security and your stability in this world. You feel threatened because you're not understanding where the pain is coming from. Why no one can make it sense nor offer any answers to your dilemma. And you move forward in life and you don't want to hear. You know, or so many of you no longer can hear because nobody cared or you felt like no one cared or nobody listened or nobody could make it make sense. Well, I'm here to make it make sense and let you know the reason that you're going through what you're going through is because your elders, including myself, failed to maintain the laws of God and hand them down to you safely to teach them to you. From the moment you popped out the womb, all you should have been learning about was how to live here, how to sustain yourself and those up under your care when you come, came to age. But in instead, somewhere along the way, those laws were wiped out and hidden from our minds and replaced with a, uh, a particular thought pattern developed by a particular group of people. And those particular group of people, while they were doing that, they were also uh, manipulating, psychologically manipulating society, humanity, to hoard the natural resources that we really need in order to survive. Once they had obtained those things, then they had control. And now they swing titillating things in front of you. Um, again, titillating your five senses, making you or leading you to be inflamed and on fire. The desperation, willing to do anything, not being able to make life make sense of what's taking place. And so we all have a, a part to play 
in restoring this world. And it is to come to understand first what has taken place. We've been psychologically manipulated. And not only psychologically manipulated, we've been spiritually manipulated. And this is some show enough, show enough serious stuff here. Not only do our souls lay in the balance, but our physical bodies, your little sisters, little brothers, or your children, lies lay in the balance in the future. Think of how you feel. Think how you feel. All based on you not having no sense of security or stability in your life. Being at the will of another that wants to make you go to school, not tell you why you're going to school, not teaching you in a way that it's um, preparing you to for self-survival, you know, forcing you to go to work to make them rich. It doesn't make sense. I got you. I understand. But I'm here to tell you, you, you were right all along. But the thing is, you still got to learn God's laws in order to move forward and regain a sense of stability and a sense of peace. Once that is accomplished, we can bring heaven back. But if we continue to move forward and to engage in the system of things, we will be descending down into hell because we think all that is glitter is gold. But the truth of the matter is, it is the ultimate bewitching. Thank you for coming to Can Angels Fly. Until next time. Bye.